Shalom. My name is Yeshua Yaakov, and I live in Jerusalem. I'm an American citizen. And um, <coughs> Barack Obama is giving a speech in Munster. This is a trailer uh, on the economic uh, policy and program of Barack Obama's presidential administration. I endorse this message, and I endorse uh, Senator Obama for president. Let us be specific. We begin with putting everybody on the same uh, page. How does everybody get on the same page? We have to have a context for what is the enormity of the global change that is occurring that is also fundamentally transforming the structure uh, of the U.S. economy. <coughs> there is um, a collapse of the local reality globally. It uh, is uh, extremely complex and sophisticated. Uh, it's been proceeding for 21 years. It means uh, essence, the end of man and mankind's exile. It has uh, meaning and it operates on four levels, the psychosocial, the behavioral, the cognitive, and the psycholinguistic level. That means it has relation to you individually on the psycholinguistic level, the cognitive level, the behavioral level, and on the psychosocial level to your family, your community, and your nation. Okay. <coughs> what in fact uh, further it means <coughs> is it also uh, the collapse has occurred on four levels, uh, and um, in particular, the East-West model has collapsed. And what was the East-West model? In the West, uh, in the Soviet Union, in, in December 25th, uh, 1991, we saw the collapse of what was its local reality, which was communism, and the next year, in 1992, in Yugoslavia, the collapse of its communism. In five years, a few years later, in uh, Israel, with the murder of Rabin, the collapse of its Zionism. In 2003, uh, 2001, the World Trade Center, the collapse uh, uh, of the Twin Towers, the meta narrative of which has to do with the collapse of the uh, capitalism, uh, and uh, and uh, and further on 2003, uh, the collapse of the Baathist regime in uh, Lebanon uh, with the murder of Harari, the collapse there, and seven or eight other nations it's collapsed since. Uh, this is the meaning, and what more particularly uh, the uh, the model of man and mankind's exile was giving to receive. I give, I get. I give my work, I get my pay. Giving to receive is the model that collapsed. The anthropologic, sociologic, a psychologic model of man and mankind's mind was giving to receive. That's no more. It is replaced uh, uh, by the new uh, post collapse of the local reality, east-west convergence model, which is humanomics in general, and its two paradigms, which uh, the central organizing principle of which is the cognitive behavioral science paradigm, which is receiving to give, uh, and uh, the new economic paradigm, the integration of labor that replaces the division of labor. I'm the author of humanomics and its paradigms. Okay, having said that, let's all get on the, uh, the same page, folks. Uh, man and mankind's exile has ended. Uh, this is the this is the message. This is the message to American Americans. Let's all get on the same page because it's not just for American Americans. It's for all mankind. And so we have one human family. And the, crea the God of the cosmos has brought the end of uh, and the collapse of the, uh, of the local reality to the East and West. Also to the three monotheistic religions, uh, there's going to be a fundamental transformation. Uh, and uh, we're already seeing signs of that on the internet uh, very significantly. Uh, the articulations are confused, but then they don't know what the underlying causality is. Uh, and we see that the economies, the two largest economies, are faltering, the United States and Japan, and other G9 with under the, under the weight and price of uh, uh, oil that costs, uh, I think it's run up recently at $117 a barrel. That's not sustainable. Okay. Now, for American Americans in Munster, Indiana, for the state of Indiana, for American Americans, this is what we're talking about. The, uh, the man who stands before you, this is the trailer. Uh, this message is the trailer of the message you just heard, and it is this. As president of the United he will campaign. The DNC's the platform committee will have him run based upon bringing forth the new economic paradigm. On the first day of his presidency, he will seek and receive a mandate for the new economic paradigm and to develop, uh, uh, implement, and acculturate it, uh, which will transform the structure fundamentally, making America the most competitive economy in the world for the next century and beyond. 
It will be creating tens of millions of sustainable jobs, more particularly by the end of the first year. It will create tens of thousands of jobs, domestic content jobs, sustainably at double and triple the present index levels of incomes, beginning uh, doubling in by years three and four and tripling by years seven through nine. Uh, it will achieve full employment by years 11. Uh, it will eliminate the national debt completely. It will require a four to five trillion dollar investment will be amortized over 20 years. Uh, Sixty percent of that investment in the supply side major project will come from the G9 partnering at a 40 percent from America. It will eliminate the trade deficit, eliminate the social security deficit, and again it will eliminate entirely the national debt which will, on the bell curve, it'll reach at, it'll max out at about 14 to 15 trillion. Uh, it will triple the uh, First, it will double in uh, years 11 through 13, and years uh, 17 through 9 will triple the purchasing power of the dollar. Look, this, folks, this is a win-win situation. It will provide for full national health insurance free for every American from cradle to grave. It will be running in the out years from years uh, 14, 15 through uh, the completion of the project. In its first phase, it will be running massive surpluses, uh, and it will, in the process uh, be raising up significantly the G9, increasing foreign aid, eliminating AIDS, the starvation, the literacy in the lesser developed uh, countries of the world. Uh, it will raise dramatically the standards of living and uh, in productivity as well in the G9. It's a win-win situation, folks. Uh, while we're all, we're all panicking and thinking it's the end of the world uh, because of the price of oil and the uh, induced <coughs> Uh, recession. <coughs> All somebody has to do is go and look at the record and we see uh, what capital owners do whenever there I is, uh, when the institution capital owners of America uh, appear threatened at the ballot box that they're going to lose the White House, uh, they, they've got a pretty transparent pattern of producing the very induced uh, 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 political uh, ploys uh, and uh, in pulling, uh, pulling back and uh, Okay, come on, folks, let's see through this. Let's get on with it. Uh, Barack Obama is an ethical, moral, and intelligent man. Let's get everybody on the same page in terms of the uh, problem, the, the global problem, that is far bigger than America, which is the, uh, and it's actually the greatest blessing in the history of man and mankind. The end of man and mankind's exile is now begun. Let's get everybody on the same page. It's going to bring uh, change in every single human being's life on the planet. And it's going to change uh, uh, the, uh, the, the developed economies. It's going to change the lesser developed economies. And the things that we have to do, we have to have a world-class leader. We have to have a man with vision who, who has over the horizon a vision who can recognize uh, uh, international content, world-class international content, and who can bring the articulation of the people uh, to, uh, uh, to, to raise up uh, American Americans, to, to assist them, to bring them up the learning curve, and to lead them and motivate them to the tasks at hand. Uh, and uh, it's a win-win situation. Now, I'm Yoshua Yaakov, and uh, the last thing I want to say is that I'm the author of Humanomics in general, 2,500 pages, a few hundred uh, uh, graphics, uh, and uh, it represents a, a life's work. Um, uh, selling it, um, producing a company, going public, getting a market cap, and ending up uh, with a few hundred billion dollars. The world doesn't need another Warren uh, Buffett or a Bill Gates. It needs Humanomics in general and the new economic paradigm of particular. So the decision Sarah and I our family has made is that we're going to put it in a irrevocable public trust for the workers in America, because I'm an American, and uh, I have three adults, uh, children grown up that are adults in America, and this is the legacy. We're going to put it in a irrevocable trust for the workers, and we're going to see that the distribution uh, of the wealth and the gross domestic product, this major project is going to take America from 14 trillion to 45 to 50 trillion. This time, it's not going to be an 80-20 split or a 70-30 split or a 60-40 split. It's going to see that there's an equitable distribution uh, of the wealth that doesn't favor Wall Street over Main Street. And this isn't redistribution. This is the, this is the free market. This is my choice and my right. And that's what I've chosen to do. And that's what we're going to do. And uh, President Obama will be the first to um, endorse 
that just distribution of the national wealth. I thank you, Am Yeshua Yaakov. Thank you for listening, and we bless you. A kabel from Yerushalayim.